Greetings, I'm Caffeine Rage, and welcome back to more of Let's Play Space Marine. <laughs> Last time we stopped a battering ram and learned that there's an experimental weapon that we have to keep the green skins away from. So, off we go. And finally, a place that isn't tainted. Well, yet. I mean, let's be honest. Uh, uh, the orcs are going to show up. Or die trying. Hello? What do we have here? Everybody aboard? Yes? A lift. How, how uplifting. Okay. Can't see where we're going exactly. Which is a little troublesome. I gotta say, I like knowing where I'm going. Granted, I rarely do, but still. Oh. Is that my uh, stop? God loves slow moving lifts. It's Mass Effect all over again. Titan Invictus seems undamaged at least. Titan Invictus seems unused, you mean. Holy shit. Now that's what I call a titan. That thing is big from this distance. I can only imagine up close. And I did take a look at what a titan is in the 40k universe and they are fucking huge to begin with. That looks even bigger than what I was uh, looking up. I'm impressed. Yeah, some of the uh, comparisons were Eiffel Tower <laughs> uh, and up. So, yeah. And they said a crew of hundreds. So, yeah. I don't turn off my system. I don't plan to. I'm recording here. Open. Captain, this is an auger station. I can scan for the Inquisitor's life signs. Access authorized. There. A lone human. Identity confirmed. Drogon. Ordo Xenos. He's okay. in this wing of the Manufactorum. I read alien signals throughout the facility. And a large number converging on the Inquisitor's location. That doesn't bode well. Well, off we go. Tally-ho. <laughs> oh, I just love the section four four nine is understaffed by one hundred percent. Please rectify. Understaffed by one hundred percent, so that means there's no one there. Got it. But yeah, just the sound design. Yeah. Do not abandon your workstation. Just how stompy everything is, it's just amazing. Hello, what's down here? Okay, looks like ammo and oh, that looks like a one of those skulls. Okay, so we got a. Hang on, can I? Oh, yeah. The orcs have reached the western territories. That's close, Caleb. Not when all the planetary defenses and the Skitari stand between us and them. Yeah, that's going to er, turn out well. There's an invasion, and now you're not worried about it at all. We have a far better chance of being killed on the assembly line than by a faraway orc. Yeah, about that. Take your stations. Be productive. Be dutiful. Yeah, I have a feeling bad things happen to them. But then again, this is the 40k universe. Bad things happen to just about everyone, it seems. Only downside of uh, being so slow and stompy is that I don't really want to explore too much of the side areas to find those skulls, just because, you know, I am rather slow and stompy. Okay. Oh, got away from my pals to uh, catch up. Hmm. 
Yeah, but there's just this great weight behind every movement, including the uh, environment. Yes, I know it's probably masking loading screens and everything behind them, but still. Okay, there's my exit. More saving. The Andros. Impressive. Can you use this panel to contact our other forces? Not directly, but I can boost Vox range. Do it. Do it. Access authorized. Ultramarines chapter. Here, Captain. Ultramarines, this is Captain Titus. Oh, I'm transmitting. Captain, this is Sergeant Midas. Squad Solidus is on the ground and making for our objective. New orders, Midas. We are at Manufactorum Ajakis and have located the Titan Invictus. I need Solinus to come secure the Invictus while I divert to a priority alarm. On our way, Captain. Midas out. Oh, I really hope we see that Titan in action in this game. I mean, just games with huge set pieces that are... Make me tingle. <laughs> yeah, I've recently been playing. You could still see the Titan. That is absolutely fucking huge. Just imagine the uh, the amount of cloth in those ba in those banners. But yeah, I've recently finished up uh, the multiplayer with Jared on Portal Two, and that absolutely fucking huge uh, door at the end of the co-op campaign. Yeah. Let me just make sure. Ooh, I'm not full up on this, so may as well. Okay, we have to have a fucking huge fight coming up because we've gone past several things of ammo uh, and are pretty much. Uh, well, we are full up on everything. The orcs are in the pipe. Yeah, gonna have to see a plumber about that. So, yeah. Oh. Well, uh, the orcs are here. So much of this police being untainted. Oh. Ah. Yeah, I need to remember what button zooms in. I'm tempted to just uh, rebound everything to a more traditional uh, control scheme. That's probably my big gripe about this game, at least so far, is just that its control scheme is a little bit wonky. Okay, that's my exit. A little concerned that there was a couple orcs that got away. Oh, another audio log up here. I haven't really been keeping out an eye out for him, but I will grab him when I can. Okay, so let's go ahead and listen to this one. Let's see, it should be this. Transmission to Inquisitor Lord Sharp. My lord. The research facility is operational ahead of schedule, thanks to the tech priest. You mean RT? I've already begun my work to create a stable energy matrix. Harnessing these unorthodox energies is proving more promising than I could have dreamed. So Red Bull. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I know, I know. The, uh, the 40k universe is very, very serious and gritty. No, no, I don't think it is. It's just way over the top and... Honestly, it seems a little goofy, but that's the fun of it, really. At least it seems to be. I will say that I'm not well-versed in Warhammer in general, let alone the 40k universe, but... Okay. But, you know, it's the fun of it. Okay, so that's going to drop down and rotate in place, and there's probably going to be orcs all over it.
Yeah, but the 40k universe seems to be a very used feature, you know, everything's just dirty and it's not Star Trek clean, you know? I have to admit that I kind of like the idea of a more used future, you know? Uh, the Firefly instead of uh, Star Trek. Okay, that wasn't maggoty with orcs, that's actually a little surprising. So far this episode has been very orc free. I mean, not completely, but... Repeat authorization. Drogon, prepare the power source for immediate release. One moment. Okay, so... Laura Tom. Cutscene. Roar of anger. I'm glad they have that uh, captioned. He seems to have a steel skull. Captain Titus of the Ultramarines. We received your distress call, but you seem to have weathered the enemy's attack. I am soldier and scientist, both, Captain. What is the status of the experimental device? Experimental. The power source is running the entire manufactorum from the generator room. This device is a fuel source, not a weapon? Hmm. It is a complex device and an unstable one. So it goes boom. Got it. it. They'll try and take it apart. And it goes it boom. Detonate with enough force to destroy the entire planet. Ooh, I like this already. Safety. And for that, Captain, I need your aid. This way. You are wounded, Inquisitor Drogon. I'm a psycho. My psychic abilities are controlling the bleeding. Very well. So, yeah, that's a thing. Right, is he just going to yell psych and he's going to fall over and start bleeding? Oh, boy. Well, there's an ugly motherfucker. Yeah, let's deal with these guys first. Oh! Okay. I don't have a shot at him. Oh, now I do. I don't, I'm not down enough ammo yet, but. I think not. Come on. There we go. Yeah, it turns out that Power Axe beats whatever the fuck he is. <laughs> I'm a little concerned that we haven't seen the big guy in a little in a while. Yeah, maybe I should grab one of these. Yeah, I haven't seen the big ugly one. Well, the big uglier one, I should say. Which, like I said, is a little concerning.
Okay, saving. Aye, the orc has a scent for us now. Damnable creature! Had he not blundered onto this world? But he did, Drogon. Yeah, and whose fault is that? No, oh, really, I'm asking. Hello, it looks like we get a new toy coming up. I'm guessing a new uh, melee weapon since I'm maxed down on my range. Okay. Plasma pistol. The Mark III Sun Fury plasma pistol fires balls of superheated plasma. It can fire quick shots or a powerful charge blast. This weapon primarily replaces your bolt pistol. Which I'm actually a little shocked that I'm getting an upgraded pistol, but I'll uh, work with it. Uh, mouse 1 to fire, hold mouse 1 for a charge shot. R to vent heat. Got it. And it's unlimited. Okay. Wait, what lift? Sorry, I was toying around with my new pistol. Oh, really? What lift? You, can you point that out to me? Uh, I guess backtrack and oh, ammo. We'll grab ammo. Oh, there was grenades. Oh, that lift. Why do you say so? Oh, wait, you kind of did, didn't you? Yeah, it's up on this uh, level. Oh, boy. Well. And that's a thing. <laughs> oh it's a fight now <laughs> oh is this supposed to be hilarious? And one for you. Wait for you to get blasted back. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I guess they just kind of swarm you with uh, ridiculous numbers. That's about the only way that they can be dangerous. Going up. No rush. It's not like we're on a, a time frame or anything. Oh, yeah, I think it's about time to start wrapping things up as well. I'm looking at 20 minutes already and it doesn't feel like it's been 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sign of a good game. Granted, I am on my second recording session, so, yo, know, I am coming in this fresh. I think if, uh, you know, I was trying to play this just one off in one evening, it would get kind of old, but, uh, especially with these long uh, elevator rides. Far deeper. The whole generator room is actually suspended above a venting shaft. Suspended? Yes. In case of catastrophic overload, the whole room can be shunted away into the depths. I have a feeling that's not going to help with the new generator. As a matter of fact, that may th make things worse. Bottom floor. Oh, gotta wait for it to come to a complete stop.
Yes, a byproduct of the device's functioning. Okay, well, let's go ahead and call it here. You know, have an actually early episode in for once, so we'll just go ahead and pause so I can uh, do my ending spiel. As always, feedback is appreciated, either through the comments below, or if you don't really have anything particular to say, but want to let me know that you've enjoyed this or even hated this video, hit the appropriate buttons and subscribe if you want to see more of Space Marine. Uh, Rim World uh, Portal 2 is still ongoing, I think, at this point. Uh, uh, the Sunday Sampler podcast or anything else that may pop up at random on this channel. And as always, thank you for watching and we'll be killing some more orcs most likely next time. Uh, probably going after that big ugly one. Well, the bigger, uglier one. But until then, I'll see you.